Well, do you remember this? I'm sure you do. It was nearly 14 years ago now. Uh, Concorde's last flight over Bristol. It was coming into land at the airfield in Filton, where she first took off and where engineers designed uh, and indeed built her. Well, since then, Concorde 216 has been sitting on the tarmac, exposed to the weather and hosting visits from her thousands of fans, of course. Until today, Concorde 216 moved for the first time since 2003. There she goes. Only 800 metres, though, so she didn't really break the sound barrier or anything. In fact, it took 20 minutes to tow her across the old runway in Filton to her retirement home. That was obviously sped up. It's um, a specially built hangar that forms part of Aerospace Bristol, an aviation heritage museum, which opens this summer, where she'll be the centrepiece of the attractions. And Scott Ellis is in at the hangar for us now with the beauty herself. Hi, Scott. Hello, yes, here she is, indoors at last. She's got a very own hangar, and as you say, at the centre of an exciting new museum that's celebrating aviation, opening in Bristol this summer. And what better aircraft to have in there than 216? This thing could get you from London to New York in two hours, 56 minutes. It was a record it held for five long years. But getting her inside here has involved quite a lot of skill and nerve. Lloyd Bernal knows all about that. He's from Aerospace Bristol, which is the £19 million attraction that will be opening soon. Just what sort of a day have you had? Oh, it's momentous. I mean, quite a fantastic day in the life of this aircraft to finally bring her into a new purpose-built home here. And I'm just looking at the gap between the end of the wings and the side of the actual uh, hangar here. It, it must have been a tight squeeze. Yeah, I was watching from upstairs. There was about a metre and a half on, on one side, a little bit more on the other, um, but then quite an undertaking to get her into a final position so that the doors lined up with the walkways to allow people to come onto the aircraft. I still get shivers when I stand next to Concord. <laughs> what do you hope this aircraft does when it's in the actual museum? Well, I mean, it's one of the finest feats of, you know, British design and engineering. We really hope this, along with the rest of the collection in the museum, you know, is one of its objectives, you know, it helps inspire young people to get involved in we science. We haven't left it too long, 13 years out in the cold. No, no, no. The, the aircraft is in really good condition. It's been looked after except, exceptionally well. You know, and Concorde is loved by everybody, young and old. Lovely, Lloyd. Thank you very much indeed. Well, you may remember, if you're uh, older than 13, Concorde landing at F uh, Filton here. I can still remember it. Captain Les Brodie was at the controls. Just how do you feel about uh, having this aircraft in a hangar once again? Oh, it's excellent. Absolutely excellent, because it was obviously going to deteriorate eventually outside. They have been looking after it, but now it can be looked after in a sparkling way, so people can get close to it, see what it's like, and as uh, Lloyd said, inspire people to get into aviation. And just remind us what it was like, like that landing at Filton. Oh, it was fabulous um, to bring it in and show it off to all the people who built it. You were under a lot of pressure, it. though. A lot of people oh, were watching. A lot of pressure. <laughs> Had to do a good landing that day. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us, and it's great to see uh, the both of you back together. OK. And um, we'll just take a little stroll down 216, actually, because you may notice down at the end there, you can see the, the lights there along the old runway out in Filton. That's because the back of the hangar is actually not finished yet. So that's the next job, is to put in the back of the hangar, and then 216 will be fully enclosed. The walls here, incidentally, are eight inches thick with insulation, and then it's just a question of getting 216 all spruce up inside and out because you'll be able to walk through and have a closer look at the high life and of course just enjoy the beauty and the shape of this aircraft when the attraction opens this summer they don't yet have a date back to you guys oh i bet Scott, we'll be there wouldn't it be nice if we could just get on it and then trundle up and down the runway although the runway's going isn't it Otherwise, you know, it's but lovely thought, to see it moving. Yeah, it was gorgeous, wasn't it? I, I'm glad we know about the end as well, just with her tail feathers sticking yeah, out. Yeah, it would be a shame if her bottom had been exposed. For, dead air. It's not very dignified. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's not a good look. <laughs> a very old girl. Uh, catch up on the weather.